In the video today, learn how to take a screenshot and how to print from your Pixel 8a. Welcome into the video. I am your tech guy, Wayne, and today I wanna to show you how to take a screenshot, which is super easy. And then I wanna show you how to print that screenshot along with how to print a web page and an email. So there's two ways to do this. There is a button combination and then there's an on-screen option. I'm gonna show you the button combination first. Uh, let me pick up the phone. And before I show you, I just wanna point out that my pixel was a little low uh, before I started this video. So I grabbed my handy portable charger here and I'm gonna link one of these in the video and in the description below because uh, when your battery's low, this is a super handy way to be able to keep using your phone and charge it up nice and quick. All right, so we're gonna hold the power and the volume down button for one second to trigger the screenshot, just like this. Power, volume down, one, two, three, hold, let it go. That's it. You'll see a pop-up that you can tap and from here, you can drag to crop the picture. You can tap on the on-screen tools to make edits. You can highlight, you can draw, you can erase, you can add text. And when you're done, you can hit save. And from there, you can also trash it or you can share it right out um, to a social media or to a text or an email. So we're gonna save that here. Now, where does that picture go once you save it? Great question. So first, it is gonna go to your Google Photos app right here. And if you go to library, it will create a folder for you for screenshots. So it'll separate the photos out and I can get right to that screenshot just by tapping on my screenshots folder. And here's the picture that I just took. Now, let's say you want to print this picture what you'll need to do is go to the upper right corner and tap on the three dots. And if you slide over, you will have a print option. You'll then tap on print. Now I wanna point out that I am currently connected to Wi-Fi, and I do have a wireless printer at home. And so all I'll need to do where it says select a printer is tap on this little drop down arrow, and it's gonna show my Canon printer that I can simply tap. And if I uh, tap on the drop down here, I have a few extra options. For example, if I want more copies, I can change this uh, number here. I can change the uh, way the paper is sized. Uh, if I want to change it from color to black and white, you can make all those different options there. And when you're done, you'll tap on this button to print the picture and send it to your printer. I will link my printer right here. Um, I am using uh, a Canon printer that is a bit outdated now, and so there's a newer Epson model that's really inexpensive. Uh, I'll link that one down below if you're in the market for a wireless printer because you need to print things from your phone. Okay, so that's how you print um, a picture. Now we printed a screenshot, but obviously if you go through your photos and you select a different printer, the process is gonna be exactly the same. I can pick any other printer and follow those same steps and I can print, or excuse me, I can pick any other picture and follow those same steps to print. Now, what if you wanna print an email? Well, let's tap on Gmail and here is an email that's open right now. And if I wanted to print this, I'm gonna to go to the upper right corner and tap on the three dots and come on down to print and follow those same steps. I'll see the web page and how it's gonna look. Now sometimes if the email is very long, it will take a few seconds for the page to show up. So if it takes a few seconds, don't worry, it will show up once it has loaded the entire page. Same thing, select a printer, and then make your modifications and then hit the print button. Now, the last thing I wanna show you is how do we print a web page? We're gonna go to Chrome, and from here, uh, I'm on ESPN right now. Let's say I wanted to print this ESPN page. Upper right corner, three dots. I'm gonna come all the way down and guess what? Where is my print button? I don't see a print button. Well, um, for a web page, you're gonna go to share first. And then when you hit share, you'll see a print button right here. So they just have made it an extra step for web pages. And I'm gonna just select my printer, make my modifications, and then I'm gonna hit my print button to print. Okay, and the second way to take a screenshot is by swiping up and holding, 
and you'll have a screenshot button that'll show up on the screen right here. Now the difference in this second method is that this will only screenshot apps. It will not screenshot anything that's on your home screen. So just keep that in mind. Now I can swipe over and uh, maybe I want to screenshot this page from Instagram. So I'm going to simply make sure I've swiped over to the correct app. And you may want to tap on the app first and make sure it's exactly um, on the page you want to screenshot. Then you're going to swipe up, hold, and tap the screenshot button. And that'll take your screenshot. And then if you tap on it, it'll give you the same on-screen controls to make the edits you want to make before hitting save. Hope you guys found this helpful. If it was, hit that like button down below. I'm gonna link to two other helpful videos right here and right here, so you can continue to learn uh, different things you can do with your Pixel 8a. And uh, we'll catch you in the next video. Take care, and as always, have a good one.